Hello everyone, welcome to Micro Minute. My name is Marty Jobson and today I'm going to be showing you underneath my microscope some bryozoans. So I'm going to jump straight to the second camera so I can show you the specimen. Here's my camera. I do that and then I do that and I appear in the corner so I'm still there. And essentially what I've got here is a little pot of seaweed that was sent to me by Jack Sewell from the Marine Biology Association. And I'm going to be looking at these fellas here, or at least something a bit like this. There's a few different types of bryozoan in here. Let's get the whole pot underneath the microscope so you can see what there is to see. Here we go. So that goes in there like that. I'll turn that on and there you go. So that, what you can see there is, um, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a piece of kelp, okay? So this is, this is a piece of kelp here. Uh, or well, that's a sort of a torn edge of a piece of kelp, seaweed, algae. And this is the bit that I held up just now. And you can see, if you look at the surface of it, it's covered in this weird kind of, it almost looks like bricks or something like this. And these are the, uh, the skeletons, the calcium carbonate shells of a bryozoan colony. Because bryozoans aren't just individual animals, they're actually a colonial animal. And inside each one of these sort of cells here would normally be living a what's known as a zooid, an individual unit of bryozoan. So an individual creature, it's a separate creature. And in this particular case, they form this beautiful colony like this on the surface of um, seaweed blades. But these ones are all dead, sadly, because they've been bashed around in the, in the sea. But there are some living ones in here somewhere, if I can remember where they are. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Excellent, excellent. Let's focus on this. And these are, I've got them upside down. Let me see if I can turn them the right way up for you. Without losing them. Here we go. And there they are. This is a colony of bryozoans, living bryozoans. And you can see, if I focus on them, that each one of these funny little cup-shaped things here is an individual, as I say, that the individuals are known as zooids. So I'm focusing on this one now here because they're on this blade that runs away from us. And if you watch, you can see the ones at the back are, are kind of popping in and out. And basically what they are is they're just little individual creatures. And what they do is they have these tentacles and they stick them, look, there's one here that's coming up. Let's focus, focus, focus. There you go, that one there. There's another one just focusing there. They stick their little tentacles out. And then all over those tentacles, there are a whole load of, um, I'm gonna zoom in on this one here. Let's see if we can zoom in on that one there. Let's get it in focus. That. Isn't that beautiful? Aren't they beautiful? And there's another one, just this one here. It's going to come out any second. And there's some more there. And basically what they have is they have cilia all over these tentacles. And what that means is that they create, as it were, a, um, a, a wash of water down into the, the gut, which is sent, it's situated at the base here. Uh, there's some more coming. There's some more coming. Aren't they fantastic? Beautiful, beautiful creatures. And look at these ones down here. Brilliant. I mean, I could just watch these for hours, quite frankly. Um, but let's, let's zoom out a little bit because you can see there's loads of them in this colony. And um, as I say, this, this specimen has, has traveled far, all the way down from Plymouth up here to Yorkshire. So they're not in the best of states, but there's still plenty there. Now, the thing is, um, I've looked into this and we think that this bryozoan species, there's loads of different species, thousands of species in the waters around here, um, is probably uh, something called Frustrelida, sorry, Flustrelidra hispida, which is quite a mouthful, Flustrelidra hispida. Um, and it has these beautiful big sort of inverted bell shapes. There's another type of um, bryozoan in here though that I wanted to show you and it's this one here. It's sort of right over here. Um, it's a little bit tricksy to see but let's 
look at these ones just here. And it's a slightly different species. And this one was easier to identify because this one is very distinctive. This one is called Electra pilosa. It sounds like something out of a Harry Potter um, book, doesn't it? And the thing about Electra pilosa, and these ones are mostly no longer occupied, they've sort of, they've, they've moved on, is it has this one massive spike. Can you see there? There's an individual, one of these briar uh, zoan, and it has a spike that sticks out, and there's the spike there and there. But if you look at the shell, the calcium carbonate shell, it's very wobbly in the water. It has these beautiful structures. These sort of, ooh, I'm going to stop touching anything. These beautiful sort of pitted and detailed and sort of almost lace-like shells, which I think are rather great. Anyway, ooh, there's actually, there are a few in here that are still occupied. There's one just there. I don't know if you can see it, it's quite faint, it's a bit difficult to see. There is one of the, oh, and it just disappeared. So that is one of the um, Electra Pilosa. But I think the stars of this particular show, let's have a look, let's go back to the field of um, these chappies here. The Flustralidra, oh gosh, mouthful, Flustralidra um, Hispida. There they are. Right. As always, I have to say thanks to Zeiss uh, for providing me with a microscope so that I can show you this stuff. And also, obviously, to Jack down at the Marine Biology Association who provided me. If you want to see more um, of these micro minute videos, then either go to my YouTube channel or to my Twitter account. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. That's all from me and from the lovely Briar Owens.